Reach reviewer here today doing a review on the Halo Reach Series 1. I love has Spartan has out. Now, the packaging for the most part looks a little bit bigger than the Halo 3, but you know, since I don't have any, you know, kind of preference and Series 8 came out a little while ago, I'm not too familiar with what the boxing looked like. It has a basic formation, basically, um, basic look of the Halo 3 um, box set. I mean, uh, boxes right here. Shows a picture of the Spartan has up. 26 moving parts. New character. Spartan has up. Custom mail. I don't know if that means like the shoulder pads are not has up or something. Then on the back, shows a bunch of uh, series one. And then uh, for those of you who are wondering, I got this at Target. For those of you who have skipped um, to the main review, I'll, I'll mention it again. So let me get this guy unboxed and uh, do a review on him. Okay, so got this guy unboxed. They're 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 kind of not that bad on the packaging anymore. They put a t tape over the grenade and they put one little stringy tie around his waist and that's it. And his gun's even. So it's basically, it's ready to go. A matter of a few seconds. Now, this guy is part of series one, and uh, at first I was not gonna get him. To tell you guys the truth, he didn't look that good to me. He wasn't. One of the ones that stood out, but now that I have him, I, I I like him a little bit more because you know, the olive color when I first heard it didn't sound that good, but now that I actually have it in my hands, it, it's a very nice color actually. Uh, let me show you guys what what I'm saying. I mean, at first it looked like a bad thing, and and now that I have it here, it's a nice looking green. I really like the the color of the this figure now. He's a nice looking figure. Um. Visor looks very nice, as you can see. You can basically see the visor. What I've I've seen here is um also things somewhat reflect off of it now, like the the light and stuff, because it's a nice little bronze and everything. Now, uh, one thing I I've noticed on all the Reach figures is this is a lot bigger and uh, a little bit more stiff than the Halo Three ones, as you can see here. I mean, it doesn't go back that far and it doesn't go up too too far, so it has a little bit more limited movement. Um, his legs can spread out pretty good. I mean, not too, too far, but pretty far. Not as far as the mongoose sets, though. Right here is a medic pack. I found this out, um, due to something on Bungie.net. It's nice little lights. Nice battle damage on him. He says, uh, he has peg right here that you can put a peg in, put, you know, something in. And he doesn't have anything here. I don't think this is removable either, and I'm not going to hesitate with it. But I don't think it's removable. He has two little butt pegs. Um, it's the same as every other Spartan. They both have butt pegs. Uh, that's what I like to call them. Other people like to just call them pegs. Uh, it's whatever you guys want to call them. And then also, right here, it's it just looks different to me. Look at right there. It has like A5 on it, if you can kind of see that. Okay. Now, what I am thinking about what this does... Is on Noble 7, he has a little pouch, so I think you can put a pouch there or something of that sort. So that's what I'm thinking this is going to do. He has a nice, solid paint job. He has good articulation. He has articulation in the elbow, the wrist, I mean the elbow, which goes out and in, and then it also turns 360. I'm not sure what I'm saying. One second, guys. Sorry about this. Pull that out. Okay, so here. Out in 360, and also it goes in and out. In this, the hinge that, as you can see, I, this this is what moves 360. But this also does move 360. That little black part right there. So say you you want him going just down and going up and down type deal. I guess you can do that. You can you can twist it around and everything. On the wrist here, it can move in and out and also turn. So it kind of gives some spectacle, so you can do this now too. It has more uh, posability, more than anything. Armor is re removable. It uh, stays in a lot better too now. I know for some of the Halo 3 ones, they, they had a little bit of problems. These do not, as you can see, put it in really easily. Doesn't fall out. Over here, same thing. Go ahead, take it out. Nice and easily. A little bit bigger peg. And you just go ahead and put it back in. Now, 
these things are fully customizable as far as once the reach figures do start going and say you want like this guy to have a grenade belt no problems grenade belt can fit right in that hole for those of you who are wondering overall it's, this figure is very nice i mean it has the little details even to like little arrows on the top of his head and all the design and everything is very very nice I've, th there's really any flaws it has a little eagle right here as you can see once my camera stops blaring it little, little eagle there and also for those of you who are wondering chest plate is removable it uh it tends to be hard at times um for some you just kind of have to put your your fingernail right where that little slide is kind of push it and go over here same do the same thing over here kind of push it a little bit and then just kind of easily comes off but the only reason it's a little bit harder is because they amped it up and they gave it a little bit bigger pegs to put in. So it goes in deeper and it stays in a lot better. And it gives it an overall better look. Um, now, one thing. I thought I'd, I'd throw this in real quick. He also has hinges in um, the, the ankle and stuff and it can move around. But one major thing that I've been hearing of is there is a toe joint right here. For those of you who did not know, it does move. Um... 360 around and everything but the reason that some people don't know this is because of the factor that it doesn't move on some of the figures uh, I, I heard someone gave me advice you have to stick like a knife in there and then move it around as you, you stuck the knife in there uh, I guess you could talk to him if you want uh, probably if you guys are asking I'll tell you his uh, gamer tag or something like that um, but other than that it is a very nice painted figure he has great paint job. His color is actually not as bad as people are thinking. It's basically a little lighter than sage and a little darker than green. Green is nothing like this figure, so if you do got if you guys have that exclusive green figure and you don't want something like him, this is not even close to him. By all means, his color is not close. So, overall, yes, I do recommend the buy. He holds his gun very nicely such as so I mean I didn't show you but earlier if you want to go see that you can go see it the gun is very nice as you can see here it's a nice detail all the way down nice color job by the way no mess ups the line is actually a line now as you can see nice orange strip all the way around it has like a little flashlight right here nice texture to the grip then his barrel, and then some stuff on the top that I don't know what it is. For those of you who are wondering, there is no number right there. For those of you who are wondering. And this is a different uh, model of, what's it called? The assault rifle. It is not even close to the same, for those of you who are wondering. And also, it's not like some of the Halo 3 weapons where it had a, some thing blocking right here. It's full. Th it's uh, fully... It's a hole on both sides, and it's you can put it in fully through both sides, which makes it a lot better because, as you can see here with the figure, um, say peg as Halo 3, by the way, for those of you who are wondering. You can peg in this way, or you can take it out, and if the peg doesn't stick in, like it does right now, you can take it out. Give me a second, guys. Sorry, wasn't expecting this at all. Ah! Okay, comes out once you give a little bit of force into it. You can put it on the other side if I can fit it in because now I don't want to have force behind it. <sighs> Sorry about this, guys. Not really trying to do this at all. Wasn't expecting it. Okay, but anyways, it, it does go in both sides. Sorry, I couldn't show you to you. Didn't expect the pig to come out. You can also be expecting a review on Noble Six in the orange. One second, guys, here. You. the orange it's only available in August uh, you can be expecting reviews of those but uh, overall yes go by I, I give this a figure a 5 out of 5 it, it really is a great figure if you guys don't like the color I mean that's your choice and everything but the paint job the weapon fits in the armor is very nice everything's very nice in this figure I do recommend you go buy it so Halo Reach Reviewer saying see ya